One of the most frequent questions I get is what should I upgrade on my bike? What crank set should I get? What's a good beginner wheel set? This chain ring looks super dope. Is it any good? While it's certainly fun to talk about drivetrains and wheel sets, and they're certainly sexy and they get a lot of attention, I wouldn't say that they're the most impactful components to upgrade for the dollar. Not by a long shot, but rather the most underrated upgrade, the one that's the most impactful per dollar on your bike, especially if you're riding your fixed gear, are not sexy, they're not that fun to talk about, they're the tires. But just because you won't get thousands of likes on Instagram for having the coolest tires on the block, doesn't mean that they're not important. And a set of tires that I've been using for the past two years is actually, so far, my favorite set of tires, and I've used a lot, believe me. They are the default go-to tire for commuting and for fixed gear, for daily riding, and after my experience with them, I can confidently say that they are the best all-rounder tire and can even transform the way that you ride and use your bike for the better. They are the Continental Gator Skins. This video isn't sponsored by Continental at all, although it would be nice if they were because I'm gonna say a lot of nice things about them. And Continental had no hand in influencing this review other than making a damn good product. And real quick, 70% of you watching this video right now, according to my YouTube stats, aren't actually subscribed. So if you find that you actually like this video and enjoyed it and get value from it, feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you can watch more cycling and fix gear videos just like this one. Subscribing is 100% free and you can unsubscribe at any time. To find out more about the bike that I personally ride on a daily basis, the only bike that I currently own, and the bike that stole my heart, feel free to stick around to the end of the video to learn more in a sponsored segment for Wabi Cycles. A good set of tires versus a bad set of tires can make or break how much fun you have riding your bike. Because it's the only part of your bike that is in direct contact with the road. Clearly. Because of that, your tires impact all three areas of your bike that are important to every single cyclist. Your bike's comfort, speed, and safety. Some bike tires are more comfortable than others. Wider tires tend to be more comfortable than skinnier tires of comparable quality. That's because wider tires have a bigger air volume that can more evenly disperse and absorb road vibrations, making them more comfortable. On the other hand, if you like to have a lot more feedback and feel more road buzz and feel every single input that you put into on your bike, then skinnier tires will be for you. And of course, what cyclist doesn't want to be as fast as they possibly can be? And because tires are the only part on your bike that is in direct contact with the road, also huge impact on speed. Some tires can make your bike faster or slower, all else being equal. Some tires feel sluggish to push, while some feel really smooth and zippy. A huge reason I specifically built up an all-city nature boy was so I could ride on Compass Barlow Pass 38C tires. These are super supple, super light tires, race ready, and they were hands down the fastest tires that I've ever ridden. I ride fixed gear, and they were so much faster than the Panaracer Pacellas that I was riding before them that I could actually comfortably go a cog size smaller to get a bigger gear ratio. While upgrading your seat post to a Thompson Elite certainly does look very nice and gets you a lot of fixie points, swapping out your tires can make you faster. Tires determine how much traction your bike has. If your tires don't have enough traction or they feel a bit squirmy in the corners, you're not going to want to push your bike as hard and you're not going to be able to have as much fun as you should be on your bike. So get a good set of tires that you can really trust and really push hard. And having a good set of tires can also prevent the number one fun stopper of bikes, flats. We've all been there. You're out far from home big weekend ride. Maybe it's nighttime. Maybe it's raining. The wind on your fingers chills them to the bone and makes them stiff. And all you want to do is get home as quickly as possible to defrost your achy legs in a hot, steamy shower. Then suddenly your bike starts to feel a bit squirmy. Every now and then you'll hear metal scraping against pavement and you start to get that sinking feeling in your chest. This is an experience that is all too familiar. So you pull over, inspect your rear wheel, and you pull out an old rusty nail out of your tire. Your tire is completely flat. 
if you're prepared, you'll have a spare tube and a pump so you can be on your merry way. But if you've ever fixed the flats out in the freezing cold, you know that it's so painful that you'd rather have a root canal. And if you're not prepared to fix that flat, well, at that point, you are calling up a loved one, inconveniencing them to come and scoop you up off of the side of the road as you yourself ride home shotgun deflated yourself. Or worse, if you don't have tools and if you don't have friends or family, then you're walking your bike home. Flats are frustrating. Whether you get a flat or not will determine whether you have fun on your ride or not. It doesn't matter if you upgraded your entire drivetrain to a baller NJS setup, or if your seat pose costs more than some people's entire bikes like mine does. Weird flex, but okay. If there's no air in the tires, there's no ride. And if there's no ride, there's no fun. It's smarter and a lot more fun to have a good set of tires that minimizes your risk of flats. Bikes are meant for riding, not for fixing on the side of the road. And by far, the tire that has allowed me to ride my bike the most and not fix on the side of the road are Continental Gator Skins. And these are my favorite tires that I have ever used. Because I used to think that flats were an inevitable part of riding your bike. It's part of your basic maintenance. You have to clean your drivetrain once a week, make sure there's enough air in the tires every two weeks, maybe wipe down your bike at least every month. And if you have a bad set of tires, you have to change a flat once a month. If you have a good set of tires, you change a flat once every four to six months. I thought that it was just part of riding a bike until I tried out Continental Gator Skins. <laughs> In my past two years of riding exclusively this pair of Continental Gator Skins, that's about 5,000 or 6,000 miles, maybe a little more than that, I've gotten a grand total of one flat. It was on the rear wheel, like most flats are, but this flat was in a super worn down gator skin. Some places you could see the bare tread. It's one that's been skidded through for the past two years. And even then, barely, just barely, a staple was able to lodge itself inside the tire and just barely poke a hole inside the tube. And I only found out that it was flat the next day when it slowly leaked itself out. Flat protection is super important, especially if you're riding in a city, especially if you're in the United States. Because let me tell you, here the roads, hell, even in the suburbs where I am, are paved with stray nails, stray staples, broken glass, screws, and dead cats. Just to give you an idea of what it's like to ride here, the worst thing that I saw just riding around the neighborhood was the front half of a full-bred German Shepherd. You need good tires here to get you around. <laughs> and that makes me love these tires even more that I've only gotten one flat in my entire time of riding them in somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000 miles. And that tread and tire longevity is amazing in itself because most tires last around 1,000 to 3,000 miles. 3,000 if you get a heavy duty touring tire. In my experience, these things have lasted about twice as long as a heavy duty touring tire. That longevity is super important, especially if you're riding fixed gear, especially if you're riding brakeless fixed gear because all that backpedaling, all that skidding, all that skip stopping, wears out the rear tire pretty quickly. But even with my moderate amount of skidding over the past two years, I was able to get two years out of my rear tire and it still has a little bit of life left in it. Although they're pricey tires already with their life expectancy, the tires have paid for themselves. I usually change my tires about once every six months to once a year. So if I can get anything over a year out of my tires, I am super happy. And surprisingly, despite how tough they are, the casing is sufficiently supple and you can feel the tires flex and absorb a lot of the road vibration. I can comfortably ride a Century on my 28C Gator Skins, no problem. They aren't perfect tires though. I do have a few minor complaints about them and so have some other people. The main complaint that I have is the sidewalls. They're made out of this polyester, I think it is, material. It's the brown sidewall. And sometimes a few loose threads will come out and I'll have to snip them every couple of weeks. And another thing people have complained about is they don't have the best traction under wet conditions. 
but you shouldn't have a problem if you drop your tire pressure when it's raining by about 10 PSI in each tire. I've ridden them through two of Taiwan's typhoon seasons, and the only time that I slipped was when I was riding up a slanted tile sidewalk while it was raining super hard. And those things are super slippery, they're more slippery than a banana peel covered in bacon grease. Any tire would have slipped on that. There is very good reason that gator skins have become the gold standard for commuting and fixed gear tires. They let me truly focus on just having a lot of dang fun on my bike, rather than worrying about that bed of glass that I just completely rode straight through because I didn't see. And that has happened multiple times, and none of the times have I ridden through glass with this thing have I gotten flat. <laughs> Plus, I can skid to my heart's content with these tires, rather than having to worry about buying a new set of tires in a couple of months because skidding really burns through tires fast, yet the gator skins hold up beautifully. If you're wondering what you should upgrade on your bike, don't start with the cranks, don't start with the wheels, start with the tires because that is literally where the rubber meets the road. And where your skin meets your shirt, be sure it's a reasonably dangerous shirt from zacalardo.com slash merch. Speaking of really great bike upgrades and a bike shop that also carries gator skins, this portion of the video was sponsored by Wobby Cycles. Every one of Wobby's design choices are meticulously made to give the purest ride quality for the money. And Wobby executes those choices perfectly with their bikes handmade by master craftsmen in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that's eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike you'll love. Wobby's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wobby Special, weighing in at a grand total of 17.5 pounds straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a stock bike with completely steel, lugged frame set and no carbon components. And that weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though, it results in the best riding experience that I've ever had with a snappy and lively ride quality that only top tier steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride my Wobby Special as my only bike. If you're looking for a bike that puts an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wobby Cycles linked at the top of the description, as it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to a perfect bike. A fix your favorite shoutouts to Stan Strong, 108, Ryan Witz, Julian Corona, Eric Avalo, Crooks, and Gio DeZero for helping to make these fixed gear and cycling videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember, life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.